Here in the second period, Nick Baptiste, he's got room. Here's Baptiste in all on scores. Baptiste fires at home with 26 seconds left in the second. It's 2 0 Sudbury. The opportunities here in period number three. Baptiste skating hard. Broston played it well, set it up, but they score. And you know the Ice Dogs, Ed, are going to have some questions about that. Good fake, and then his shot was blocked. And off to the races, Pancel got Baptiste going to the net. Look at the saucer pass, and they score! Baptiste! Puck is cleared to the line. Hayden kept it in very briefly, but Baptiste, quick hands. And look at Baptiste go. He's in again. Across it goes, they score! Pancel, a hat trick! 6 2. Pass to the blue line. Shot in. Martin comes out, tries to play it along the wall. Harris in front, scores! Baptiste trailing on the play. Martin got caught. Looked like he was. Just as it got through everybody. Subban behind the net, but it's going to be Baptiste with the puck. Baptiste and Smalls back there for the Wolves. Baptiste to Pancel. Scores! Nathan Pancel. And the Wolves try to work it in front. Into the corner to Jennings. Jennings looks for somebody open. Back to the point. A shot. Rebound. They score! That's Smalls. Work to do here in period number two, but this is a team that has a lot of offensive production. Here's one of those members, Baptiste out front. Oh, they score. Well, that is a strange one as it was banked in off Richard and the Wolves get a gift that's happily received. And this is the start that Sudbury wanted and it didn't take long partner for Baptiste to get back to what he does, scoring goals. And it was a little bit fluky, but regardless, Sudbury brings it within one. Simply get it to the net. It's almost the same goal that Niagara had. Obviously, just getting it to the net and goes off. Did it go Regardless, Trevor Carrick, who had 16 goals for the Mississauga Steelheads head when he was traded to Sudbury. That's just his second goal as a Sudbury Wolf. Out front, Baptiste, they score! And just like that, the game is tied. I told you, if you let up for a second, one shift even, they're going to hurt you, and they're back. This game is tied. A little bit of a lull. Make it 3-2. Another lull. 3-3. Three, three. Baptiste is a gamer. Again, they're going to take advantage. That was a little bit of a defensive blunder. I don't know if Siebenhaller thought someone was with them or not, but it's an unforced turnover, and Baptiste may Missed a hack behind the net, or excuse me, behind the play. Schmaltz on Dunn. Heater gets spun around by Dunn. They score! A rocket by Baptiste. Oh my, it's 5 3. Baptiste just simply had this puck on his net, real quick, on his stick, and he just unloaded it. We talk about his shot. They build their power play around this Buffalo Saber pick. And boy, he's got a quick release, and Richard didn't stand a chance on this one. <laughs> Here's Dunn and Schmaltz. Or excuse me, that's Corbett. He'll feed it in behind the net to Roche. Can't get to it in time. There's a giveaway right to Baptiste. Two. Back to the line. Kappa Bianco scores. Well, that was a funny one. Deflected out front for sure. Here's Baptiste. Campania. Baptiste one. Pressure with the last one. Baptiste back out there. Carrick at the blue line. Plays it into Campania. Down deep to Chris. Chris into the slot. Baptiste scores! The power play finally pays off, and the Wolves take a 1 0 lead. It seemed as though it would be only be. Campania to Baptiste. In front, shot from McDowell, deflected. Cross ice speed, scores! Baptiste! And the Wolves grab a 4-3 lead and they stay on the power play. Hope Campania to Baptiste. And that was blocked. Campania shot blocked, loose puck, they score! Wow. Baptiste is tied. More than that, but it's well wide. Pinching in his rain on the near side and he'll dump it behind the net. Over the far side, it goes down the slot. But he takes a shot. It looked like it went in the first time, and they do score on the rebound as Faxon knocks it in. But I, I believe the first one went in. Campania broken up by Barry, cleared. And 
Sudbury Rules will try it again. Here's Baptiste. Campagna on his right. Plays it over to the left instead. Shot scored! Alex Latino's got some, but not all, as it squibbles through the pads, and Nathan Pencel makes it a two. Signet Computers. Matthew Campagna. Laid it down low. Across for Pencel. He scores! The hat trick for Nathan Pencel. Third power play goal of the night for Sudbury. The far side. He right, couldn't get to the puck, and now Sudbury will escape with it as far as center. Getting around his man, Campania, three strong on one hound. In front, tip scores. All right from Murray's right to left over to Nick Baptiste. And the three on one as it became going inside the ground zone, and Baptiste will get the tally uh, for Sudbury. And McIntyre, McIntyre back to the blue line. That gets by Kara. Carrick ahead. Now it's Baptiste on the break. Baptiste lost, scores! Lost the handle on it, but it goes in anyways. And Nick Baptiste has cut the Mississauga lead down to three to two. Corner, and the Steelheads keep it in. No, oh, Walsh loses it. Now Baptiste, look at the speed on Baptiste. Moving it alone, scores! Nick Baptiste, what speed by number 14, and it's 5-3 Sudbury. Cell and Baptiste, Cahoon on the blue line with LeBlanc. LeBlanc over to Campania. There's the one-timer. They score. Nicely done. Nick Baptiste, great pass from Campania. And it's 2-0 Sudbury. And it's picked up by Ming. Loses the puck to Pancel. Baptiste out of the box. Scores! Nick Baptiste right out of the penalty box. Squeezes through the five hole. And on the power play, the Wolves. Kirkarudo. Ward Chatham in front of the Sudbury bench, clears it into Wolves territory. Wolves bring it back, uh, Carrick up the right side, Connor Crisp. Left wing, Nicholas Baptiste, got the shot, scores! He snapped it from the left circle, and the Buffalo draft, Baptiste, gives Sudbury a 1-0 lead. Well, and you can see right there why he's a draft. Uh, you mentioned the snap, Pete, uh, and, and what a snap it was. That's his 24th of the year. You know, we talked about this team uh, having the depth, and. You know, it, it's been Pancel, the one that's been popping the, the goals in. But as I mentioned, for Baptiste, that's his 24th of the year. He's number two on the team. Watch this release. That's a quick release. And you, you normally don't see a goal. For him to handle, thanks it back to the point. LeBlanc, Baptiste. Baptiste cutting in, scores! A lot of time and space for Baptiste. And he fires home his 18th to make it 1-0 on the power. NHL, you can always, the guys that are signing are the guys that get better every year. Yep. Scores a shot from the point, a seeing eye shot from LeBlanc, and it beats Marin to make it four. Down low towards Baptiste, good quick move by Baptiste. Back to the line it goes, LeBlanc will fake the shot. Shot now deflected just one, oh, they score! It deflected in past Festerini, Pencel was out front, and the floodgates are Pancel to the blue line, dumps it in, Campania gets to it, trying to play it in front, they score! Nick Baptiste, I'm not sure if he touched it or not, but it's a tie hockey game, Peterborough arguing maybe that was kicked in. On that penalty kill by that shift for the battalion. Capobianco leaves it for Baptiste, a quick shot, he scores! A puck stuck in the net and it handcuffed. It handcuffs Jake Smith. New member, the former Erie Otter, collide right in front, and now it's Sudbury coming back across the line. Baptiste turning back the other way, rebound. It's goal time for Sudbury. A minute into the game, they get on the board. Corbett up to Baptiste. That's into the center ice for Faxa again. He's around Lemke. He goes all the way around right in front. What a goal. Radic Faxa, Mr. Fancy, and he's got another point. It's two. There's a feed nicely into Baptiste. Baptiste skating well. Back to Schmaltz. Schmaltz walks in, scores! Matt Schmaltz right out of the box makes it a 3-1 game. Well, Tim, Matt Schmaltz started this play. And he... Holding on, and it rolled away from him. Oh, David Miller, he just come right down. He tried to get uh, Palazis to move from uh, his right to his left, and uh, the puck just rolled off his stick, went off the corner, never really got a shot. Nick Baptiste, shooter number one for the visitors. In on Matt Murray. Blocker's side and gives Sudbury the lead.
Well, Baptiste, uh, he just uh, he went in at the top of the circles. Uh, he took a look and uh, seen an on three for 44 seconds near side Cahoon. Down side of the goal. Try to go back door. And as it goes to the wall, Wadling will press her to the right of the net. Craig Dunnick. Right now, though, uh, to the left of Matt Murray. Now top of the far circle shot scores. Hammered it right through. Nick Baptiste. And the Sudbury Wolves will capitalize on a five on three and open up the scoring yeah, here in the Lemach, the big 19 year old once again he played in that game three victory over the ohl he was fantastic allowing just two goals on 43 shots and for the first time in this subway super series a goaltender will play in back-to-back -back games he did have a weekend to rest he needed some rest after the way the ohl peppered the russians but it was a 5-2 victory for russia in game three in Oshawa, so the OHL looking to bounce back tonight. It was a bit of a rope a performance for the Russians. They were outshot heavily in that game and at times looked dominated against, but were able to come ahead on the score sheet in a 5-2 convincing win. Scott Lawton, Oshawa Generals, gets the puck in front of the net, and Nalimov will pounce on that with Nick Baptiste of the Sudbury Wolves in the vicinity. For Russia, number 12, Sergei Tolchinsky. He's the Sault Ste. Marie. Point leader and Nikolai Goldobin of Sarnia leads the sting in goals. They're at the tail end of the shift, they head off. Aaron Eckblatt, number five for Team OHL, just 17 years old, and he's in the mix for that number one overall pick in the upcoming draft. Such a calm, cool, smooth player, and heady praise for Eckblatt with his under 18 performance. Baptiste. He put a shot right on Nalim off, and he was able to squeeze that. Off if you turn the switch off for a little bit. They've come out with a lot of juice here tonight. They were outshot 43-22 in Game 3 on Thursday, yet came out with that 5-2 win. Oslov gets the pass ahead to catch it. Chris Pigra, Colorado Avalanche. Pick number 24. He's been great for Owen Sound. We talked to Dale DeGray about him this morning. He's the general manager there. Said he was worried about losing him to Colorado. Look out for this guy, Kachev. He was going one on one with Darnell Nurse. Got a shot on. He's on his belly, still digging for a rebound. Finally, the whistle goes. Just drafted by the Barry Colts. So, pretty good hockey playing family, the Carricks. And Trevor amongst the league leading defenseman OHL scores. Flat. Pass over to Aaron Pellet. Islanders draft pick. He'll send it in. Let Baptiste fly in after it. Baptiste, number 14. The Sudbury crowd would love to see something from him. Batchev up at center. Knocked down by Scott Lawton, and they might be calling that. Looks like to be an interference call. and Scootar to back up before they drop the puck. Ronan wins the face off and he skated up to center. Stopped there by Bidra. Now it's dumped into the OHL zone. Darnell Nurse. Tied for second in defenseman scoring in the OHL. Tied with his teammate tonight, Trevor Carrick, Mississauga Steelheads. Good side. He has the second goal for Russia. Gets it out to center. He'll chase Nurse back into his own zone. Sam Bennett. He'll be a first rounder in this upcoming draft. Going number 93. Baptiste runs his man over. Keeps on going. Loop side. Leads the rush for Russia. Shot missed the net. Bennett. Down to help out. Nice just too far for Verhege to handle. Missed by Veronin. This line has been very good for Russia. Kupsov, Veronin, and Shiksadarov have scored both goals. It's been a dynamic duo with Erie. Brown leading the OHL in scoring with David not far behind. Here's Kachet. Right there with the captain, Georgie Usarov, number eight, going in after this puck. Igor Rudenkov, number 26, the other one on this line. Kachet steals along the board. 
corner, drops it off over Saroff. OHL takes over. To Campagna, member of the Sudbury Wolves, number 37, gets it to his Wolves teammate, Baptiste. Glad waits for it at the line. Knocks it down. It's stolen by Rushraffik on the Flames seventh round pick. That check. Here goes in on Ekblad. Both of those players draft eligible this year. That check didn't want much of Ekblad there. Win draws. And yes, he still puts up points too. A very good all around player for Dale Hunter's London Knights. Carter Verhage. Leaves it for Sam Bennett. Now he'll come back in and help out. Barabanov clears his own for Russia. Baptiste, some speed, able to track down Barabanov. Get it to Verhage, now to Bennett. Verhage tried a shot. That was off his skate, missed the net. Then over Robeyev. He hammers it out to center. Sam Bennett, a little bit ahead. Baptiste, able to walk down that left wing side in front. Nick with Baptiste came out like it was hair was on fire for this shift. Just a brilliant shift for Baptiste and the Sudbury Wolf. He does everything but score the goal, and he made it so easy for Verhage. He still had to maintain his balance in order to get it in. But great job in the neutral zone. Pucks turned over, it's transitioning the other way. Now look at Baptiste go hard to the net. Once the defenseman Borobiev commits to the ice, Baptiste makes that one extra move. That opens up the passing lane, and Verhage does a really good job there. The defender draped all over him to knock it into the back of the net. Excellent play there by Nicholas Baptiste. The OHL will have a power play if they need all that time. And a strong start for the second period for the OHL. Two quick goals and we're even at two apiece. Shots are 24 to 7 for the OHL. Eklund still out there. And the Lemoff was out of the hash mark to make that save. Chance for Ekblad. This time he can't get a shot away. Four on four right now. Helen, quick snapshot. Now Lemoff kicks that aside. Lemoff. Hard by Baptiste. Stolen by Pellick. Baptiste has got a spark in his step. He does. He's been great. And Bennett. Leads the check. Gets it in front. Baptiste narrowly missed. Has it now. Baptiste in the corner. Hey! Sarah chasing after it. Russians shorthanded now. Connor Brown. Sam Bennett. Max Gomes at the point. Ekblad tapping his stick. He wants the puck. Tapped it again. Now he gets it. There's a shot. Right pad saved by Nalimov. And it's stolen. Nalimov directs that high off the glass. Tolchinski, the St. Marie leader in goals, assists, and points. The pass over to Goldobin. Patterson got a piece of it, and it's stolen in front of the net by Brendan Gunts. He sends it ahead to Baptiste, and he had the feet moving, but a good stick check by Barrett Lazar prevented Baptiste from getting a chance. Okay. Carol Moslov. The Baskov stolen by Baptiste. Fred Brathway in attendance watching the young goaltenders who will travel around uh, with coaching and mentoring and, and scouting for Hockey Canada. Sean Burke also on the advisory board. Well, it's tough to evaluate the goaltending when the Russians with just over eight minutes to go. Aren't even in double digits and shots yet. 29 to 9 are the shots in favor of the OHL. Baptiste getting another shift and he tests Nalima. Sarnia London 4 2 rival. It's cleared down by Russia. Won't be icing. Can't have the first man in. He's really starting to try to stretch things out. Pass in front. Can't gets a chance. Has his own rebound. It to the line, drops it off, and now it's stolen by Nick Baptiste. He moves it ahead. He'll use his speed down that right wing side. Look a look in front. Nobody there. His teammates were on a change. Hangs onto the puck long enough. Wanted to get it to Brown, but it's stolen by Kachev. 
Edgehead with a shot. That's handled easily by Patterson. Errol Maslow. The boots are off. Edgehead in the corner. That's to the line. Scott Lawton will follow up. Moving ahead to Bo Horvath. Darnell Nurse takes the shot. That missed the net. Edgehead, he's been out there a while. Skating coach during the offseason. 40 seconds to go in this power play. Minute 40 to go in the period. Scott Lawton takes the pass out over the line. Robayev had it in his skates. Kept in by Chris Petrov. Russia determined to get the puck out, and Barry Glazov starts the other way shorthanded. Alexander Barabana. Gets it behind the net. Veronin trying to find an opening. Three OHL players having trouble taking it from Alexander Barabanov. Great job in the kill from Barabanov. And he's got the short chain, so he'll head off. Trevor Carrick hearing the sound of Jake Patterson's stick. That's it for the power play. Rushes back to full strength. Johns drops it off for Baptiste. That's in front. Nobody there for OHL. Bouton. He takes a hit from Baptiste. The two's off. Drops it off for Gavrikov. He missed the net. Brendan Gunnitz. Got Lawton with him. Being harassed from behind by Shiksadarov. He takes a couple of hacks and whacks from Tolchinsky. He has not looked out of place in this game. You know, the kicks and front necks. The trio of young stars, Roland McCune, Spencer Watson, and Sam Bennett. Bennett gets the lucky card here, and he has not looked out of place in this game. Has an assist. Vladimirchenko steals in the offensive zone. Vladimirchenko moves it to Barobe, who's pinched down to the corner. Behind the net, Barabanov. Barabanov quickly the other way, and Jake Patterson moves down and stopped the wraparound chance. Watson, though, hemmed in their own end. That didn't last long. Chipsadara, he has a goal and an assist. Chipsadara gets knocked down. Now Carrick falls. Moldova, his pass to Kulczynski. HL takes over, Nick Baptiste. He's made a lot of stuff happen tonight, but he's been out there, got the pass over the Verhandi. He just missed his second of the night. Verhage back in front, but Teast had his stick lifted by Tikhanov at the last second. He dropped. He shot from the line. No problem for Nalimov. That's stolen by Verhage. Tolchinsky will stick handle a couple of times, moving to Goldobin. Now the give and go back to Tolchinsky. Goldobin following up. He rifled one right on, and Patterson. A few years, and former Sudbury Wolf and Josh Lugo being one of those picks. Couple of wolves out there now. Baptiste, he's trying to hit everything and wipe it. Touches a puck. He's out there with Matthew Campagna. He's been used sparingly. Brendan Gantz. He was a Canuck first rounder in 2012. Six There's a quick move. Now Darnell Nurse will contend with number 23 for Russia. Pass back to Gavrikov and it came up high. He'll be tested with the crafty catch in. Played him well in the corner. Josh Anderson. End of a shift. Sends it in. Heads to the bench. Kachev drops it off to Gabrikov. They get it back on Kachev's stick. Kachev. Being harassed by Baptiste, got a pass through the slot area. Nobody there for Russia. Doesn't seem to be bothered by much. No. <laughs> and stronger than he looks. Yes, I, I will give you that. That's that's a really good point by you because he is slight of frame, but very, very strong for that slight frame. Brendan Gunn shot off the noggin of Nalimov. And he was ready for more, too. Got right back up. It's it all off. Boots off following up. Can't get a shot through a crowd of OHL defenders. Pass comes back to Vorobeyev. Thanks for time with the Portland Winterhawks last year. That shot deflected to the corner. 54 games for Portland, but didn't see any action in the Master Card Memorial Cup. 
Two minutes, 40 seconds to go here in the third. Here, number two. Back to the line, Kappa Bianco scores! Well, that was a funny one. Deflected out front for sure. Here's Baptiste. Campania, Baptiste one. Colts penalty kill has improved to seven. 81.1 when shorthanded. One time shot, scores! Nicholas Baptiste gets Sudbury on the board. 2 1 Colts. There. Here's Nicholas Baptiste now. Darts in. Shot saved by Blackwood. They score! Power play goal for the Wolves as that one squirts through the pads of McKenzie. Connor Crisp. Crisp then tried the drop pass. Pancel up against the boards to Baptiste. Back to Pancel. That's blocked in front. Baptiste in front. Deflected. And they score! Nick Baptiste might have put it in off a very goal. And the Wolves have their first lead of the hockey game. It's three to two. But it's well wide. Pinching in is Rain on the near side. And he'll dump it behind the net. On the far side, it goes down to slot. But he takes a shot. It looked like it went in the first time. And they do score on the rebound as Faxa knocks it in. But I, I believe the first one went in. Out. Baptiste clears it ahead for Cahoon. And it knocked off his stick, but it goes right to Carrick. Carrick carries in, slides it in front, scores! Right off the side of the net, Baptiste. Start out. Baptiste clears it ahead for Cahoon. And it knocked off his stick, but it goes right to Carrick. Carrick carries in, slides it in front, scores! Right off the side of the net, Baptiste. Cleared in, but out of the box now. The Wolves have to watch out for Garcia. Lemieux gets to the loose puck, but then it's cleared out to neutral ice. As the Colts try to clear. Now a chance for Baptiste. Baptiste moves in. Baptiste with it. They score! Danny DeRose. The side of the goal had all night to bury that one. And it's 2-0 Sudbury. Nice play by Baptiste because you know what? He could have easily taken the shot, but he did see DeRose there, as you mentioned, Stu, had all kinds of room. So Nick Baptiste, smart play, and that's why that young man had the type of season that he did. So the Wolves can't capitalize on the power play, but a great pass there by Nick. As the Wolves are in the midst of a change. Carrick down deep, Carrick behind the net. It's got Baptiste alone in front. Scores! Nick Baptiste. Playing hockey, but uh, looks like Bertuzzi's destined to get into something here. Whoa! <laughs> well, I'm just running. Corrado. Corrado goes over to Justin Sefton with a pass. Back to Corrado. Campagna all by himself. Plays it down deep. Into the slot. They score! Oh, my goodness. That was a beauty. And no mistake there by Nick Baptiste. It's a 3-2. Sudbury lead. Chance for Campagna. Two on one. Campagna with Pancel. Campagna still with it. The trailer. They score! First shot on goal. Nick Baptiste makes it 1-0. Sudbury. Harris at the blue line. Back over to Baptiste. Playing the puck in behind the goal, Campania and Pancel. Out in front, they score! Nick Baptiste is second of the hockey game. And it Sefton in the corner, trying to pick it up. Squirts in front, Chad scores! Oh, Baptiste with a great move to cut through the defense. Tyson Get a defensive change, and now just seven seconds remaining. And Grounds have had three consecutive penalties against them and as of right now they've killed them all off we're back to even strength with 217 to go right here in the second period ganley lost the puck put low and murray scores tyler ganley tried the backhand outside of his own zone the wolf all alone and puts it low in the power play feet up on this side for campania he's got baptiste and pencil back to the darrow the darrow will let it go score Thompson going after Charlie Dodaro. Scores! There's one that gets by Viano. And the Wolves tie things up. It looks like Baptiste will tie up the hockey game at one. Viano would like to have back, but that just squeezed through the pads, through the five hole. Not a good goal to give up by Welbin. The net back to Campania, back to Dodaro. Deflected in front, losers. Baptiste scores! Dick Baptiste is second of the afternoon on the power play, and the Wolves take a 4-3 lead.
I don't think he could believe how much room he had as the Kitchener Rangers, the goaltender Biendu, as well as the defenseman, had no idea. Darnell Nurse and Nick Baptiste dropping the mitts. Nurse with some rights, heavy rights on Baptiste. He's throwing some lefts. Nurse switches up hands on two occasions. As they're tied up, helmet comes off on Nurse. He's still feeding the right hands to Baptiste. Gets the helmet off, drops him down to his feet, gives it a...